It's time for Seen and Unseen, where we reveal the stories behind the headlines. For that, we turn to Fox News contributor Raymond Arroyo. He's the author of The Unexpected Light of Thomas Alva Edison. Bookstores tomorrow. All right, Ray. There was a skirmish at the White House today just as Ted Lasso, the cast, showed up for a visit? Yeah, look, Laura, what? it all started when an African reporter claimed he's been ignored by the press secretary. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. You've been discriminating against me and discriminating against some people in the briefing room. And I'm saying that this is the U.S. This is not China. This is not Russia. Please, 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 please. It's been seven months. You've not called on me. You've not my messages. I'm saying that that's not right. That's not right. On times, welcome, guys. Welcome. Welcome to the press briefing room. Undeterred, Laura. Undeterred. Yeah. For Corrine Jean-Pierre, she brought on Jason Sudeikis and the Ted Lasso crew to talk about what else? Mental health. It is sincerely an honor to visit the White House and to have the opportunity to speak to the president and to the first lady about the importance of mental health. No matter who you are, no matter where you live, no matter uh, who you voted for, we all probably, I assume, we all know someone who has, uh, or have been that someone ourselves, actually, that's struggled, that's felt isolated, that's felt anxious. We encourage everyone, and, and this is a big theme of the show, is like to check in with your, you know, your neighbor, your coworker, your friends, your family, uh, and, and ask how they're doing. And we should all do our best to help take care of each other. That's, that's my own personal belief. Then the moment Ted Lasso and company left the stage, Laura, KJP made sure they were gone. And then she did her best to put those words into action. She really cared for that African reporter who asked for help. This is the White House press briefing room, a historic room, a room that should have decorum, a room where folks should respect their colleagues and respect the guests that are here. What has just occurred this last 10, 15 minutes is unacceptable. It's it, it is unacceptable. So we're going to, so we're either going to continue the briefing or we can just end the briefing right here. Uh, I guess oh, Simon Ateba, his mental health doesn't matter at all. Just excoriate him publicly and shame him in front of the entire press corps. That's a good strategy. The decorum <laughs> of the White House. Is she kidding me? I mean, do, does anyone remember how uh, uh, press people were screamed at who worked for Donald Trump? I mean, yeah. and Donald Trump himself screamed at by Acosta and others. I mean, give me a break. Well, and, nice try hiding behind a, you know, a bunch of actors in the briefing room. Why do we need, I mean, actors to speak out on mental health? I mean, mental health is an issue. It's a real issue. We don't need actors telling us it's a real right. issue. Everybody knows it's a real issue. Well, I'm so waiting, I'm waiting for Kevin Costner to talk to Biden about beef sales and maybe, uh, you know, a little, uh, what's his name? Uh, the, the, who's the, the karate kid? He can come in and teach them about self-defense and policing. Yeah. This is Not crazy. You. I mean, I'm sorry. Earlier today, Laura, the president celebrated Persian New Year at the White House and revealed another hidden bit of his past. Folks. You know, the Persian culture is amazing. As a student of the Persian culture, not a practitioner, but a student, it's incredible where the world is, where the world wouldn't have been without, without the culture. Yeah, Laura, I'm sure he was studying the writings of Zoroaster at night, at, at, you know, in Scranton. I mean, give me a break. Now he's a student of Persian culture. Watching a rerun of Sinbad is not a student of Persian culture, Mr. President. Commenting on various beautiful silken rugs is <laughs> also not a... But but you, expert on the Persian culture. I mean, but you know what's on. so insidious about this, Laura? He claim, he gave lip service to the girls and women being persecuted in that country. Yes. But then he allows Xi to make a deal between Saudi Arabia, as you mentioned at the top of the show, between Saudi Arabia and Iran, strengthening the mullahs and weakening the position of those women and the Persians who are the civil society in Iran. He's not helping them at all. Um, Ray, Biden vetoed his first bill today via mm. video. Now, the bill would have prevented his administration from making investments based on the woke ESG considerations. And by the way, we didn't edit this. Mm. I just signed this veto because the legislation passed by the Congress would put at risk the retirement savings of individuals across the country. They couldn't take into consideration investments that wouldn't be impacted by climate, impacted by overpaying executives, and that's why I decided to veto it. 
<laughs> Laura, somebody should have vetoed that recording. I mean, the, uh, 150 million separate people are impacted by these retirement investments, which used to be based on the return on those investments. Now, Biden has added all these social uh, qualifications. Mm -hmm. This is ruinous. And it was the entire Congress, Democrat and Republican, who passed this bill, not just Republicans. R Raymond, in that outfit tonight, you look like you're about to do a slam poetry reading in Greenwich Village. I what? very well may. Look at this. What is this, like a Jim Neighbors look? You're like disappearing <laughs> into the, the black vision. I'm just teasing you, Raymond. And th and by the way, congrats on the Edison book tour. All the details are on RaymondArroyo.com, and we will see you to talk about it more on Wednesday. It's a deal. All okay, right, I'll, I'll wear a tie. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.